What's up guys, Kaushik Mitra, Academies.com. Uh, welcome to our uh, another video on TMI, uh, 10 minutes ideas. Today's uh, video is based on fractional atomic weight. So let's let's uh, let's try and back up a little bit and understand what atomic weight is. So atomic weight is nothing but the sum of protons plus neutrons that is represented as a superscript in elemental representations uh, representations like these. Just for example, magnesium is 1224. Here, atomic number is 12. Well, the atomic weight or the mass number is 24. Now, this number gives you a direct idea about the atomic weight of that element. Now, that idea becomes a little bit tricky when fractional atomic weight comes into play like what do you mean by fraction it's not a whole number right it's not a whole number like 24 it's it's like a fraction it's, it's a, it has a decimal it's it is 35.5 now how do you get 35.5 how can the number of protons plus neutrons in chlorine is 35.5 to understand this let's try and understand the average of average now let's assume you have a box and that box has 100 spheres now the weight of 50 of those spheres is say 10 grams each and the rest 50 are 20 grams each now if i tell you to find out the average weight of the spheres what is the average weight what what comes to you intuitively the average of 10 and 20 when you have 50 percent of 10 and 50 percent of 20 what is the average 15 how did you get that what you did without even knowing is you did 50 percent of 10 plus 50 percent of 20 this is a general idea that is there like to do an average now imagine that you have a box in which there are say 100 spheres and each sphere either weighs 75 grams or sorry uh, 35 grams or weighs 37 grams now to the same principle will be applied to find out the weight of the average weight of the spheres in this box for example let's say another example so this sphere represent 100 percent now there are eight types of atoms 50 percent there are 50 percent of the atoms are a type 25% of the atoms are B type, 12.5% 12, 12 are C type atoms and 12.5% are D type atoms, right? So what is the average atomic weight of this entire system? What you will do is the same. 50% of A plus 50% of B plus 12.5% of C plus 12.5% of D. For A means the atomic weight of A b means the atomic weight of b and so on and so forth so this is the general idea okay so what is why have i written in this in in such red big font natural abundance why this is important is in nature there are certain elements which have different kinds of isotopes by isotopes we already know what isotopes means right isotope is a two atoms two different atoms are called the isotopes of each other when they have the same atomic number but different mass number for example chlorine has two isotopes chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 when i'm telling chlorine by default i mean that the atomic number of chlorine is 17 but the mass number in here is 35 while the mass number in here is 37 now if you collect all the chlorine atoms in the universe, you will find out that 76% of all the chlorine atoms in the universe have the atomic weight of 35, while rest 24 or close to 24 atoms of chlorine in the universe will have the atomic weight of 37. Our job is to find out the average atomic weight of chlorine atoms in general, because if you go out in the in the universe and collect a random handful of chlorine atoms you will find that you have collected both chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 right but amongst those molecules 76 percent of those chlorine will be 35 atomic weight and only 24 percent will be 37 atomic weight now 
what you are seeing is a handful of chlorine atoms. Now, since it cannot be represented by 35 or 37, because it has isotopes, which is not a problem with magnesium, it seems, right? Because magnesium is 12, 24. So most of the atoms, if not all, say 99% of all magnesium atoms in the universe will have an atomic number of 24. And that is why it's not a problem to just say that the atomic weight of magnesium is 24. But it becomes a problem in the case of chlorine because chlorine has both 35 atomic weight isotopes and 37 atomic weight isotopes in a huge proportion like 76 and 24. Now, how do you find out the average? It's simple, right? The average atomic weight of chlorine will be 76% of the weight of chlorine 35, which is 35, plus 24% of the weight of chlorine 37, which is 37. Do you do a simple math and you will find out that this average comes out to be 35.48, which we generally write as 35.5. Now, this is the idea behind fractional atomic weight. This is very critical to understand this the concept of natural abundance, right? This is not generally taught in class and it is just said that you learn 35.5. It doesn't have to be like that. Chemistry doesn't have to be like that. You, everything in chemistry makes sense if you try to find out the answers behind it, right? Now, this is a simple explanation. This is the reason why chlorine is 35.5. 35.5 doesn't mean that the proton plus neutron number is 35.5. In here, for chlorine 35, the number of protons is 17 and number of neutron is 35 minus 17, which is 18. For this, the number of proton remains the same, but number of neutron becomes 20 right in these two cases the proton and the neutron numbers are different but when you're talking about the atomic weight this is atomic number right but when you're talking about atomic weight you will have to consider the two isotopes in their natural abundance and you have to calculate the average atomic weight which comes out to be 35.5 and this is the reason why fractional atomic weight exists now if you like this video Please let us know by liking the video and commenting. Please also let us know what more videos you would like to you would like us to make to make chemistry easier and fun for you guys. Now, if you are not satisfied with whatever is going on and you want to know more about fractional atomic weight and chemistry in general, I encourage you to go to Academist app, download the app and you get benefited by the many videos that we have put in there for free. So we have ICSC and CBSC videos on the entire class 9th and class 10 chapters available for free on our app for like for the chapters one uh, for the for the first few chapters. Also, we have solutions to all the NCRT and ICSC uh, uh, questions from Viraj Jadalal solved in full with full explanations for you. I would encourage you to go there and check out those videos and let us know what do you think about those and what else do you want us to make the videos on so that we, you and us, make chemistry more fun for you. So th thanks a lot guys and we'll see you in the next video. See you soon.